when I read my words, I'm using this side of my face. When we use the Muslims, I'll be using this side of my face, plus doing a mock uh, Muslim accent. Okay. The Quran says, the slave for the slave, meaning that if someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave. Also, in the first part of Quran 424, it says, forbidden to you, Muslims, are married women. Can't have sex with married women. Except, that's a key word that makes it so you can, except what your right hand possess. In other words, your a, a lady who's a, a woman who a girl who's been uh, who's married and is your slave or captive these scriptures from the clear signs Quran remove African American complaint for the time the US had slavery um, there are at least the 33 different versions of the Quran in English and they differ as well don't believe me go to the Sunni Muslim website called Islam Awaken and uh, so anyway, now a black Muslim jumps in, uh, says, remove African-American complaint for the time the U.S. had slavery? Exactly. Thanks to the first part of Quran 424. Was that a statement or an incomplete thought of what? A fact. Both of those Bronze Age, late ancient and medieval texts i.e. the Quran and Bible are riddled with references to slavery, not the Quran. Trying to one up the other in terms of subject of slavery just doesn't work. So you aren't a Muslim. Well, that's a... Uh, then, then you are smart. Arabs wrote racist hadiths to justify African slavery. Did they write uh, the slave for the slave? And the first part of Quran 424, those justify slavery as well and remove African-American complaint for the time the U.S. had slavery. European Christians taught the curse of Ham and son to school and used scriptures like this to justify African slavery. Ephesians 6, 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ. I bet you're right. Yet slavery came to an end in a Christian-centered country like the U.S. Do you think that would have happened if America was under Sharia? Be truthful, please. So we got sinners on all sides here, and that's why I'm saying Christians calling Muslims racist is like the pot calling the kettle black, or shall we say the commode color, the commode color, the toilet pale. So you aren't a Muslim. Again, if not, that is smart. First of all, let's, let's, uh, first of all, that's your opinion, not a fact. Can't just read the Quran and see what it says for yourself? And why would I remove a complaint for an atrocity committed against the whole people? Because if you call it an atrocity, you're calling the Quran evil for allowing an atrocity? Simply because of a verse from a book, a book that if you hold incorrectly can get you stoned to death? Yes. I fail to see why or how anything could erase that much less an 8th century verse about having sex with captives who may have been married prior to your taking them captive. I guess you don't take Islam and Muslim seriously then. Well, guess what? If Sharia is installed, you will be a slave again. Even after the transatlantic slave trade is, is as old as the Hebrew sojourn in Egypt, Egypt and if America and Europe should ever make proper amends through proper and truly universally beneficial repatriations for the enslavement of and subsequent racist oppression of black African peoples and black African peoples have risen to their proper seat at the world table. In other words, you still will hate whitey? Even after this slavery is not a complaint that will ever be forgotten, nor should it. Well, it will be. It will be forgotten if Sharia is installed. 
too bad a blamer cares more about Islam than his African-American roots. He makes no peep when the Muslims of Boko Haram burn to death 86 Christian black children in Nigeria. He made not, not a peep about it. Forgotten history is easy to be, is easy, is too easily repeated. Under Sharia, it won't matter even if it's remembered. Not being a Muslim has nothing to do with my or anyone else's intelligence. Right. Being a free thinker is what makes my intellect. Well, it should. Regardless of all this, the fact is that you have people who have used their religions to justify evil. Yeah. True. And then uh, Kader Othman attacks some guy named Reagan and then he attacks me. This is the Muslim now. Quote, the slave for the slave, unquote. Nice twisting and taking out of context. This verse means that when someone gets killed, kill his killer, not the whole family or another man like Jews were doing for more information. And see, answering, Christia, answering Christianity.com, lots of murder, etc. If, okay, well, eventually I take this thing apart. And then, he, then this is what he says to the black Muslim. We are one race according to God, God religions. We are from one human. That's why black and white is not a sensitive case for Muslim Arabs in Quran. Well, it is for Americans because they wasn't getting treated right until the 80s. While it was over long ago for Muslims. This shows that those who make such a lies are atheist, Dar atheist Darwinist deskies. Racists and want to throw out their shit on someone else to destroy both religions. It's like black heart or white heart describing dark history, bright history. When I symbolizing like that, it it is it mean that I'm thinking of a dark man or humiliating him like it is red or shyness means all red or shy. Only who believes that the black, red, white, Asian are racist, not one human race, is the one who have this problem. If anyone believes that the that David Wood is a Christian after this, then he she is dumb. And then another Muslim jumps in and attacks me saying I love the Bible have to distinguish between Nigers and white people. Acts 17, first uh, New International Version, quote, uh, 13, one. Uh, now in the church of Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and so. What's so important about si Simeon that is need to be called Niger? Why did he why he did he needed to be distinguished from the other teachers and prophets? Why? Oh, because he's black. And with that I say to the guy who just said that, well, I guess Muhammad did then fly on a donkey like creature with the head of a human and tell the peacock to talk all down from fifty prayers a day to the current five. And that got the other Muslim jumping in to defend him by attacking me saying if you're an atheist or religious, you know such a thing can't be true scientifically and religiously. An atheist knows that? What? Scientifically, like quantum teleportation by a superior creature, you doesn't know. Oh, if you're saying there is a God or Allah. Right, if there is an Allah, I could see that happen. But... If it did happen, then it contradicts the Quran about Allah giving no sign, miracles, to Muhammad due to a she-camel being treated wrongly by the Talmud, the, 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 the Thamud people. It also contradicts the Sahih, sound hadith, about the journey by night only being a vision. For one thing, if Mo did fly on a donkey-like creature with the head of a human tail of a peacock, well, where is the hoof print on the rock under the... Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. Guess what? 
There's no hoof print on that rock. Not even a single, not, not even a sign pointing at any hole and saying, here is the hoof print of the psychedelic creature that the exalted men flew on. Which, if you think about it, would help turn the dome of the rock into another Shroud of Turin type relic. And we doesn't care if you believe or not. Because Sharia hasn't been imposed yet. It sounds like when Sharia is imposed, all will have to care or have their heads removed for not believing Muflu on the said donkey thing. Even though it contradicts that Sahih Hadith about only being a vision. And contradicts the Hadith about Aisha saying Mo never left her side. Wait, believe. Well, I believe Aisha. And that Sahih Hadith about it only being a vision. For one thing, if Mo did take a flying thing to talk all it down to the number of prayers that are currently from yeah you know, from fifty to current five, it also says he visited the Temple of Solomon and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which neither existed in Muhammad's lifetime, which would mean Mo flew that thing into the Twilight Zone. But what we doesn't believe that you've been in the moon. Right, for you only walked on the moon. Of course, a Muslim can't believe we even orbited the moon because the Quran says you can't, eat, you can't leave the zones of the earth, can't leave the bounds of the earth uh, without authority, and, which would be all his authority. And the moon is supposed to be in the midst of the zones, according to the Clear Science Quran. Religiously, by God the power, simple thinking of for any religious, and if he denies that such a thing can happen by God, he denies Jesus, Moses, Christian, Buddha, miracles. I can believe Mo flew on a donkey-like thing with the head of a human and tail of a peacock, but when Aisha says Mo never left her side, Bukhari says it was a vision, and the fact that the Temple of Solomon and Al-Aqsa never exist in the time of Muhammad, well, when I know that as well, it makes me wish old Mo talked all the down from not only 50 prayers a day to the current five, but uh, on that strange donkey-like flight, but talked all the down to having not only one prayer maybe every 50 years at the most. I think I'll end it here. Bye.